Hey guys, welcome back. So um, let's get the cinnamon recipe out to you guys today. I will have all of the ingredients linked down in the description below. And so what I'm gonna do is I heat up my, this is milk and heavy cream, you guys. So I got my milk and heavy cream heated up to about 110. And then I add my yeast and I let that sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. You can tell when your yeast is blooming, uh, when it like gets puffy like this. And as soon as I'm done with that, I add my butter and eggs. And then I just mix that up. And as soon as that is nice and incorporated, um, I start to add my flour. I add my flour a little bit at a time. I am gonna put down the measurements down below, but when you guys, if you guys are gonna make this, make sure that you're adding a little bit at a time and feeling and looking at the consistency of your dough because you don't want this dough to be dry at all. You don't want it to be hard, dry, any of that. You want it to be sticky and soft. For me, I added about two cups two and a half cups and then my dough was pretty good. I knead it on medium for four minutes, about four minutes. And then after that, I'm gonna be adding some vanilla extract and maple extract. This is optional, you don't have to add the maple, but I really wanted to enhance like the maple flavor in this. And oh my gosh, when I had, if you guys watched the mukbang part, which I'm gonna link, I had, um, I ate the cinnamon roll with some bacon and oh my gosh, mind blowing. So uh, just another quick tip, if you're gonna make these and you don't mind bacon at all and you love it, you can cut up, cook some bacon, cut it up and sprinkle it on top and it will be delicious. And then I check my consistency and you want your dough to be like this. You want it to be nice, soft, kind of sticky, but not too sticky. Like it came off, but it was still kind of sticky and soft. I hope you guys, um, I, I hope you get what I'm saying. So then after that, I just take it out, oil my dough ball, oil my bowl so that it can proof. And then I let it proof for about 45 minutes um, on top of my stove because it was pretty warm over there. And then while that is proofing, I'm just gonna make the cinnamon mixture real quick, super easy, super simple. Um, I just did a stick of butter, I did a cup of brown sugar, and then I did nutmeg, allspice, and like three heaping tablespoons of, three heaping tablespoons of cinnamon. And basically, you can call this pumpkin pie spice. So if you were to go get pumpkin pie spice, Pumpkin Pie Spice has nutmeg, allspice, um, cloves, all of that. So that's basically what's in here. And so I mix it up until it's like this, like kind of wet, dry consistency, but like a spreadable. I wanted a spreadable consistency. After the dough is done proofing, I, I only let it double in size. I didn't want it to proof too much. So I take it out and I shape it up real quick. Um, you don't want to overwork it. You don't want to overwork it too much. I just wanted to shape it up so that when I roll it out, it was nice and consistent. And then I just roll it out to the size. So I rolled it out to about a quarter of an inch, maybe a half an inch to a quarter of an inch, I think is what I was going for.
And after I roll it out and get it to the size I want, then I'm going to spread my um, cinnamon mixture. And I had a hard piece of brown sugar in there, so I just like took it out. But for the most part, it should be nice and spreadable. And after I'm done with that, I roll it. Now my dough was sticky. I didn't want to add flour to my surface because I didn't want to add more flour into the dough. So what I did was use my bench scraper to just kind of help roll it. And then after that, I cut it. Um, I normally cut it like in the middle and then in fours and then in twos, like if that makes sense. And after that, I just butter up my um, baking dish and I put them in there. And I mentioned in the mukbang part or the mukbang when I was eating them that I stuffed them in there and I should have gave them a little bit more room. Um, other than that, they came out perfect. And then I'm gonna let them proof for about, I think I let them proof for another about like 20 minutes. And while those are proofing, I'm going to start the um, icing. And I'm doing cream cheese icing with maple syrup and the maple flavor, cause um, you guys know I'm trying to like, I was trying to make it real maple, maple-ish. And so basically I'm doing room temp cream cheese and uh, I forgot to bring my butter to room temp so I just like melted it in the microwave I melted it too much but like I said it turned out fine and I just kind of whip that I whip the butter and the cream cheese together and then I added um, I want to say a cup of powdered sugar if you're making more than what I'm making you want to double this recipe if you want it to be like super like lots of icing you want to double this recipe, but I'm not a huge fan on, on sweets. You guys know that about me. I'm not a huge, huge fan on sweets, so I did about half that because powdered sugar can be very, very, very sweet. And then um, once I get that all incorporated, you want to add the powdered sugar a little bit at a time because if you add it all at once, it's just going to be like a big poof. Like it's going to get everywhere. So try to add it in a little bit at a time, incorporate it a little bit at a time. And after my little cinnamon rolls are done proofing, I bake them 375, 400 until they were nice and golden brown. And then I just kind of spread my icing on here. I didn't do a very good job on spreading this icing, but you guys get the point. You, you spread it out nicely. And then after that, uh, they just, they came out so beautiful. They came out so perfect. Um, I loved them so much. Um, but anyway, if you guys are still here in the recipe part, leave me any kind of dessert emojis that you guys have. And Merry Christmas Eve. I love you guys so much. And I can't wait to see you in the next video.